Hello everybody and welcome back to another OSU tutorial video. Today I'm going to be going over how to get a PP counter in your OSU live stream. Just to keep note, we're not going to be going over the in-game uh, PP counter since um, I have not yet figured that out yet, but maybe that will come sooner than later. But right now we're just going to be focusing on the normal PP counter. This video was actually requested three weeks ago uh, by Forceville 808 for a PP counter video. So we are doing that now a month later, but uh, we are here. So yeah, we're let's just get right into it. So first of all, if you guys already watched the video before on how to get uh, the now playing text in your OC live stream, you guys probably already done this, but make sure to download Steam uh, Stream Companion which is the main thing that is gonna, well, the name, main program that's gonna help us get this PP counter. So go ahead, you click on that, put it wherever you want to, uh, or whatever, desktop, downloads, your art folder, <laughs> like mine was in, documents, whatever the heck that was, but I already have it downloaded, so I already, uh, so I don't need to do it, but make sure to download it. All right, once it's downloaded and you have it wherever it is, Make sure to open it up right here. The screen just goes black whenever you have to do the, the privacy thing. So accept all of this stuff. Keep going, blah, blah, blah. You don't have to do whatever the heck. You can create a desktop shortcut if you want to. I'm just gonna do that just because. Have it install, and once it's done, it should pop up. Mine popped up like right back over there. But Stream Companion will open up. This will, is gonna be the first thing you see. It says, as is the first time you're running Stream Companion, we'll set up some basic options. First, you need to start your OSU, enable one specific option that allows Stream Companion to work. So basically, go ahead, open your OSU. So once you have your OSU open, if you haven't done it already, my thing has already uh, has already synced. But if you haven't already, it wants you to go and type up MSN. And right there, if you do not have this turned on already, make sure to turn it on or else your stream companion will not work. This is the thing that it's looking for in the first place. But once it's done, as you can see, if you go over here, it says we'll now perform small tests to make sure your memory um, pulling tools command work correctly on your system. So basically, you have to get the specific map that, um, that they tell you to get and you play on any difficulty with these specific mods, HR, no fail, DT and HD. So basically just go ahead, click the map, go ahead and download it. And once it's downloaded, just turn on the Pacific mods. Hard rock, double time, hidden, and no fail. And then you just let it play. And once like that, it will do a test or whatever the heck. And you don't even have to play it seems. I've never done that before. But then it just completely works. So yeah, just like that, everything works. So uh, after that's done, you just end the setup. And everything will work right here. And this, with this, you already have thing that tells you what you're playing and all that other stuff but right now we're just going to keep this we're going to turn this down and we're going to get into the pp counter section all right so once you were here in your stream companion you have everything done it's everything's pretty much self-explanatory so when you go into here go into your settings and make sure to go to your visualizer spot people get confused by this or i got confused by this personally i didn't know what this was but then little did you know that the visualizer is literally just your PP counter. So if you press on enable live visualizer, this pops up and you have literally everything ready to go. You can customize this or simulate PP while listening, which basically as the song moves on and you're not even playing it. Let me just move this over here. As the song moves on, it will simulate um, the PP that the song gives and each difficulty gives just by listening to it so if you ever just want to you know 
see how much PP you're gonna get, uh, or how much PP a play will cost. And you know, you're not that smart, and you don't know how to do the uh, bots and all that stuff. You know, you kind of just look at it and then just wait for it to play. You can see this gives you uh, a decent amount of PP right there. So like, yeah. So basically, you already have your PP counter done. You can you can customize it a decent amount just in this. Like you can enable rounded corners. You click this. You see that you kind of see it. Not really. Um, you can turn off simulate PP while listening. So it won't do that. You can show horizontal legend. So if you get rid of that, it removes these numbers. I don't know exactly what they're called or what they're used for because I'm not that big brain when it comes to um, Osu stuff. You know, I kind of just play the game. And you also auto size chart value based on uh, max value. So if you turn that, it kind of just, it kind of just even out. So if you don't have it, it will always be, you know, 140 right here. But you know, if you have this, it makes it a lot bigger though uh you can only see like most of this i'm not sure what it is exactly i you know it's kind of just here and whatever with this you can change the chart colors i'm not going to mess with these you guys can go ahead you can change the primary chart colors chart progress primary chart is the background of this chart progress is whatever this is darker you can change the background of all this stuff but yeah basically that is how you get your pp counter but then you guys might be wondering how do you add this to your obs basically i will explain that to you guys all right being over here you have your stream companion opened up all that fun stuff like that so basically i already have a pp counter here but i'm just going to delete this for for video purposes and we're going to go add a new scene right here and do window capture so if you do this you just type in pp counter and it might automatically open up something but don't worry about that switch it to oc stream component live visualizer and just like that your pp counter is right there so with that you know you move it wherever i usually have it right here i'm not sure how visual uh you know how good it is to see but you know personally i just have it right there you can like customize the size or whatever the heck if you want but you know i prefer i prefer to leave it right there so with that you have your pp counter done and that's pretty much it but there's also a lot of things you can do to customize it so going back into here if you want to your osu stream companion settings you go back into visualize you can change the mini counter it says this will modify existing live visualized settings are you sure you click yes no whatever the heck but this is only for people who want it because i know a lot of people you know prefer this one so you switch this it changes the live visualizer to that to the way smaller one uh, as some people prefer it's kind of messed up right now i'm not sure what's going on but go ahead probably because the rounded corners thing but uh yeah so with that that also works so yeah i'm not sure exactly what's going on with this and why it's cut off but i'm pretty sure that'll fix okay yeah i can see why but yeah with that, that is the um, live visualizer with that. You can customize that. You can also customize the font with any font that you have on your computer. Personally, I don't really have like a specific font. I just change it to the rounded because rounded just looks better than, you know, personally, uh, rounded just looks better. But yeah, you can change all this other stuff. All that fun stuff. But yeah, you can adjust the height with some stuff but yeah that's basically just all the stuff that you can do inside of the inside of the stream but did you think we were done no we are not done whatsoever there is a whole other thing which is called the web overlay i'm not sure if i'm supposed to show this stuff so i'm just gonna um leave it out i'm gonna cover it in the video so Basically, you go into here, Web Overlay gives you a bunch of different other options as well. So if you go here, this is, uh, stay away from me. You go ahead, I'm not sure if uh, Enable Remote Access means anything. But uh, yeah, 
go ahead and copy this link or open overlay in browser. So if you click this, you don't have to copy the link. It doesn't even let you copy it. So if you open overlay in browser, you open this and it pops up with four different overlays. So these all do different things or all display different things. So you see this over here, this one's different. It shows all the, um, what is it? All the map stats over here. This one doesn't show the PP, but this just this is like the map thing. This is just for the map. It's all self-explanatory. This is a live overlay. This is a map example. This is a map overlay, and this is just a PP counter. So yeah, all of these these are four separate ones that you can customize to your heart's content. But I do not know how to do personally. But uh, yeah, these are here. So if we were to uh, go here. If you want to you click on any name and it opens it in another tab so you can just if you know what you're doing in OBS you can just go ahead go into OBS well this is how you capture basically all of them anyways so if you were to go into OBS you go into browser source you add a new one get the link from whatever one you want there's uh, I'm just gonna use a live overlay for an example You paste this in here press ok and just like that it works it's a lot more stylish compared to this one especially since it shows all this other stuff you can go ahead you can change the height you can change the width or whatever i believe it it works pretty well i haven't tested out this actually my first time using it but yeah you can change it to whatever and it, the height and everything adjusts with it so if you want to change anything, you you can change the width, the height, just the length of anything, and it will not stretch anything. So it looks pretty good nonetheless. I, you know, I always like it lower. So like that, that could go like in replacement for this. We can just go ahead and delete this. We can just place this here, make it smaller, whatever the heck. Actually, we can make this a lot smaller, make this like 100 or something like that, just like that. It's just like the other thing, but it's not. It looks really, really nice, to be completely honest. But then there's also a feature in Stream Companion, which, or on this website that they give you, right here, particularly. If you want to, you can edit or create, um, create other overlays just like this, or anything like that you want. I have not experiment, experimented with it, as I do not know how to do it. But that's something you guys can probably figure out on your own if you guys really want to mess around with this. Personally, I think this is just fine, but you know. Either or, that is good. Alright, I didn't do a proper outro, so I just wanted to thank you guys for making it to the end of the video. I really do appreciate it. Make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe if you want more content like this. Something like that. And dislike the video if it didn't help. You know, any feedback is welcome. And... Also, another thing, I said, speaking on feedback, if you want any videos that, uh, or you want any content, any recommendations that you want me to go over, you know, just feel free to drop it in the comment section. I am open to any suggestions. I'd be glad to make uh, some tutorials so I could try to help people. But yeah, um, that's about it for me. I appreciate, like I said, I appreciate you guys sticking by to the end of the video. Hopefully this helped. If there's something that's not clear to you guys, please leave it down in the comment section below. I will try to clarify uh, best as possible. But besides that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace out.